Hey, what's up team? This is Eddie Gray, and I'd like to talk to you about speeding up your workflow in file management. So here I have a basic track. Logic, as we know, is consisted of audio, MIDI, drummer, and then the new pattern region. So that being said, if you really want to speed up your workflow, you're going to have to work with the most important aspect of logic, in my opinion, and that's called snap mode and nudge mode. As soon as you understand this basic concept, you will fundamentally be sound, you'll be able to move around, you'll be able to navigate, make edits. Uh, the entire program depends on your mastering this, this one aspect of the program. Okay, so if I open up the toolbar, key command, control, option, command, T, and you can open up the toolbar by also hitting this guy right here. What's going to happen is you'll see Logic's most often used key commands, and this is where you can find your nudge value. Sure, you can change it manually, but you can also set this to a key command, and so that's what we're going to focus on today. We know that we can create precise edits and, and be more adept at the program if we utilize snap and nudge, but if you're still using your mouse in order to get there and there, that's going to be a problem, you know, six months, a year, two years down the road, you're going to be wasting a lot of time and energy. And as we know, this, this game is about time management and energy management as well. So let's go ahead and figure out how can I set this up in such a way where it is seamless, it works with my creativity and we can remove the technological stuff so we can get into the music. All right. So the first thing we want to do is open up the key command window, key command option K. And for those of you that need to find it in the menu bar, you go to logic pro key commands and there, there they are right there. All right. So something that's going to help you with this video, is you'll notice that I have a, a camera here and that it's focusing on my numerical keyboard. Now, for those of you that don't have an extended keyboard, that's not a big deal. You're just going to have to use different key commands. And so I'll give you some options as well. So I like to have the, the extended keyboard because I have more buttons at my disposal that I can use. All right. But it is not necessary. I just want to be absolutely clear about that. So the goal is to speed up your workflow and how we're going to do that is by assigning your snap and your nudge to key commands. So I'm going to go up here, I'm going to type in the word snap and you'll notice that I have them already set up on keys F16, F17, F18 and F19. So that's this top row right here. Okay. All right. And then if we do the same thing, in fact, let me show you another way to find key commands. If you just type in the, the command that's in question, you'll notice that the screen will update and find the key command for you. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to hit the key command, and there it is set nudge value to bar. So the way I've done it is I've set up my nudge so that I have bars, beats, divisions, and ticks. Now you might be asking, why don't you use 10 ticks? I use it all the time. I just don't have it assigned. I like the snap and nudge to be flush. In other words, I want them to be right next to each other to help me with my workflow. All right. So that takes care of that. For those of you who are advanced, you can do this on your own, but you can set up your shuffle modes, your drag modes rather, uh, right below that row. And so that would be numerical key number seven, eight, nine, and then the subtraction side or, or the minus sign. And so you can do that there. But for the rest of us here, let's just stay within this top row. And again, if you don't have an extended keyboard, do me a favor, set it up so that your snap mode is set to shift one, shift two, shift three, shift four. And so here, let me take you back there. I want you to assign shift one to bar shift two to beat shift three division and then the last one shift four two ticks and then for the nudge you're just going to continue on the keyboard so we'll do five six seven and eight all right and so that's how i want you to set that up so how do you set that up okay you want to go ahead 
click on the key command and then you want to hit learn by key label so I'm gonna go ahead and assign this if I wanted to change it and add another key let's say I press this one per se it's gonna give you some information a dialog window I'm gonna cancel because I don't want to replace or anything but for you you might have to replace and that's okay so once you're done teaching logic where you want to assign that key command then you can move on okay so first step assign snap mode and nudge value to key command so you can move freely now look at what this does this allows me to essentially move with ease and grace and not have to think about how I'm gonna move something so here look at my screen I'm gonna move this drummer region using bar over to the right right and then what I'll do is I'll edit per beat and then now I'll edit per division and I did that all very quickly without any real serious effort let's say I wanted to mute something from here to here and so I would just select my bar and then hit control M and now I just created a very fast edit without really trying what does this do it liberates you to have more energy you don't have to think about it as much on top of that if you want to be extremely meticulous let's say you really wanted to you know take this row out you could do that just like that really easy um, it, it, just an incredible workflow for those of you that haven't adopted it yet highly recommend it it has revolutionized the way I, I think about music the way I look at music it, you know had I known earlier I know it would have benefited me a long time ago and so these are a couple of examples of how this is going to completely alter your relationship with logic because again you don't have to a go to the snap mode change it here and then b you don't have to uh you know incorrectly do something you know for the, the days of like having to zoom in and try and wait is it here is it there i think it's here why don't i get a little bit closer actually i'm on the wrong spot right those days are over because now the only thing left to do is just set up the proper snap mode and you are good to go so it is absolutely wonderful uh, i recommend you do it now go ahead and stop the video get in there and set it up so you can benefit from the workflow let me show you a couple more examples so again i'm going to go to beat my secondary tool is the command click tool so as soon as i select anything it's doing the action it's performing the action within the proper snap mode and this is the benefit here if I wanted to move the region it's doing it per beat see I'm not even trying I'm just moving it left okay so some of you might run into this problem right here you're trying to drag it to the left or the right you're noticing nothing's happening and the, well, the reason that's happening is because you're simply not moving far enough so if I drag over just a little bit more you'll notice now that I'm moving the drummer region per bars and let's go ahead and corroborate that by looking at the help tag if i click and hold any region you'll find a helpful tag and you can see that the position of the region is bar one beat one division one tick one and the length of that is exactly three bars now uh, that only happened because i muted this one right and so if i bring this back and i connect that now we have a perfect integer four bars so that that gives you a lot of information that's really necessary in order to edit with precision um, look if you're doing this for two six eight hours ten hours a day you're gonna need a system and I'm telling you the system works so set it up in such a way where you know where the key commands are it's a very fluid workflow and and here's another tip the way that I personally do it is I assigned bar B, so again, they're right next to each other. And then every time I change one, I change the other. That way my brain doesn't have to think about which one was this? Was this nudge? Was this beat? So I already know bars, beats, divisions, and ticks.